In this video, we will talk about pricing a coupon bond. Let's start with the following example. Suppose you buy a two-year 8% coupon bond where coupons are paid semi-annually. Let the face value of this bond be equal to $1,000. Since this is an 8% coupon bond where coupons are paid semi-annually, each coupon payment is worth 8% of the face value of $1,000 divided by the number of coupon payments in a year, which equals $40. Let's say the yield to maturity of this bond is 10%. And again, since there are two coupon periods in a year, the periodic interest rate denoted by R equals 10% divided by 2, which equals 5%. Now let's see how this bond works. Suppose today is time zero. At the end of six months or 0.5 years, bondholder will receive the first coupon payment of $40. Six months after that, or exactly one year from today, the second coupon payment worth $40 will be received. The remaining two coupon payments of $40 will be received by the bondholder at the end of next two six month periods. But since the bond matures in two years, the bondholder will receive the face value of $1,000 in addition to the last coupon payment of $40 at maturity of the bond. The price of this bond is just the present value of these cash flows and equals the first coupon payment received at the end of first period in six months time discounted at the periodic interest rate of 5% plus the second coupon payment of $40 is discounted at periodic interest rate of 5% over two periods, plus the third coupon payment of $40 is to be discounted at 5% over three periods, plus the fourth and final coupon payment of $40 is discounted at the periodic interest rate of 5% over two years or four periods. In addition to calculating the present value of these coupon payments, we have to discount the face value of the bond that will be received at the end of two years and we discount it at the periodic interest rate of 5% over four periods. This gives us the current price of this bond of $964.5. So we can see that price of a coupon bearing bond is just the present value of the cash flows associated with that bond. Let's consider a more general case. Suppose we have an end period coupon bond with face value equal to F. At the end of each period, the bond makes a coupon payment of A dollars. And let the periodic interest rate be denoted by R. So essentially the cash flows associated with this bond are as follows. Suppose today's time zero. At the end of first period, the bondholder receives a coupon payment of $8. Similarly, at the end of second period, another coupon payment of $8 is received. And this goes on so that at the end of each period or next n periods, the coupon payment of $8 is received. But we know that at maturity of the bond, the face value will also be paid out. Since the periodic interest rate is denoted by R, the price of this bond can be calculated as follows. The first coupon payment of $8 is discounted at the periodic interest rate over one period, plus the second coupon payment is discounted over two periods, and so on and so forth until the final coupon payment of $8 is discounted over n periods. And finally, in addition to the coupon payments, we will have to discount the face value of the bond over n periods. For those of you who have seen videos on annuities and zero coupon bond, some of the present value of these coupon payments is just the present value of an N period annuity. And discounting the face value of the bond is just the price of a zero coupon bond. Rearranging right-hand side of this equation, we get the price of this bond equal to the coupon payment of $8 divided by the discount rate R times 1 minus 
1 over 1 plus the discount rate to the power n plus the face value of the bond discounted at the periodic interest rate over n periods. So the price of a coupon bond with fixed periodic payments is just the present value of an annuity that pays periodic cash flows equal to the bond's coupon payment plus the present value or price of a zero coupon bond with face value equal to that of a coupon bearing bond. Let's call this result star and we will make use of this in the next example. Let's take another example. Suppose you have a 20 year 12% coupon bond where coupons are paid quarterly. Let the face value of this bond be equal to $1,000 and let's say the yield to maturity of this bond is 8%. Since coupons are paid quarterly, each coupon payment is worth 12% of the face value of $1,000 divided by the number of times the coupon is paid out in a year, which equals $30. So we have the total number of coupon periods denoted by N equal to the time to maturity of this bond of 20 years times the number of times the coupon is paid out in a year, which is 4, and this equals 80. So we have a total of 80 coupon periods in the life of this bond. And since yield to maturity is 8%, the periodic interest rate denoted by R equals 8% divided by 4, which equals 2%. Using the results from star, we can calculate the price of this coupon bearing bond as follows. The coupon payment of $30 divided by the periodic discount rate of 2% times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus the periodic discount rate of 2% to the power 80, which is the number of periods we have, plus the face value of $1,000 discounted at the periodic interest rate of 2% over 80 periods. And this gives us the price of 1397.45. Dollars. So we can generalize the argument as follows. Let C denote the annual coupon rate where coupon is paid m times per year. And let F and Y denote the face value and yield to maturity of this bond respectively. The time to maturity of this bond is denoted by T. And let N be the number of coupon periods in the life of this bond. So N is simply M, which is the number of times coupon is paid in a year, times the time to maturity T given in years. Then the price of this coupon bond can be calculated as follows. The annual coupon rate times the face value of this bond divided by the yield to maturity of the bond times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus the yield divided by the number of times the coupon is paid out in a year denoted by m to the power m times t plus the face value of this bond discounted at the periodic interest rate, which is just the yield to maturity divided by m to the power m times t. So we have learned how a coupon bearing bond works and how we can price it. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.